episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris and I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we have yet another. You know, it's what I find fascinating. We're getting so many documentaries about popular horror franchises. Well, let's get to that. We're getting one. two on Nightmare on yeah. Elm Street, um, and we're getting one on today's episode, which is To Hell and Back: The Kane Hodder Story. Yes. Now, for those who don't know, um, quick Jace, facts. Quick facts. Jason Voorhees. From, I believe, Friday the 13th Part 2, uh, up until Jason X played Jason Voorhees. He was the guy that played Jason Voorhees. Yeah, Jason, yeah, yeah, for uh, Kane Hodder is the one, original Here, one I'll double who, check who, who played him, pretty much. And, um, again, you get a, a lot, we're getting a lot of these documentaries for a lot, like you said, a lot of these horror films, pretty much, because a lot of people love it. It's like... It's a type of thing where there's a lot of so many stories behind a lot of these films or behind these characters, you know, that we all love pretty much who you know embody them, and it's really cool. How we're starting to get a lot of these because a lot of people didn't know certain stories that went behind this, some of the blood, sweat, and tears that went into yeah. a lot of these films or even pretty much the fandom of it. Um, and we get to hear his story because I guess his story is very, it's very not dark but you know he's you know it's like he went a long way to get to where he was at at this at that point okay he's got the guy's been doing movies since 74 first yeah. off no he started here it goes he started playing jason and friday 13 part 7 yeah there we go correction my part that's my bad and all the way yeah i think so, he's the longest one to be stay at. yeah he he's, actually if i remember right wait which one what was it jason takes manhattan oh yeah um, yeah, he pretty much was Jason Voorhees. Like, even in, like, our single Hall show, yeah. he showed up as Jason Voorhees. He was yeah. Jason Voorhees. He's the longest one to ever play this character, this this iconic yeah, character. Yeah, see, um, up until Jason X in 2001. You so, know, my have, bad, my so, bad. So, you have, so, in a way, you know, like, with Freddy Krueger, you have Robert England, pretty much, who just personifies this character. Yeah. You know, and then now you have, you know, you know people are putting, you know... How's that term again? I I I, just, I I had it in my head, but now I lost it. They're putting what is it? Uh, names the faces, the faces, the names, whichever. Um, but um, uh, for Jason, pretty much the person that really embodied him fully. You know, it may have been later on, but fully embodying him and just took that character, that role. You know, was Kane Hodder. Mm -hmm. So it's just dive on this. We're talking too much. We drifted off a little bit. Um, but again, this is the official trailer. To hell and back, the Kane Hotter story. So here we go. Jesus Christ, that's loud. And then draw some volume again. I've murdered more people on film than any actor in history. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he's he not only did Jason Voorhees, but he's done a lot of uh, big roles too. And Jason is a huge character. The hockey mask, the way he moves, his bulk, all of that is the logo. You meet a lot of these people who play heroes and people who play bad guys. Most of the people that I've met who play heroes are assholes, and <laughs> most of the people who play really bad people are nice guys. It's actually just he's true. Through what he's gone through, I can't even imagine. You know, I talked to this reporter, and she said, let's do a story about the local kid that's making his way in the stunt business. You know, I'll give you some pictures, and if you want, I'll do a fire stunt for you live. He put his arm out away from himself to be safe, and when he lit the match, he ignited it. completely burst into flames everywhere. Oh, it's shit. a it's a horrifying story because it's bad enough, you know, being burnt, obviously, but all the other things that went wrong. I mean, just it couldn't have been worse. If I read it in a book, I would read it and say that can't all be true. He's exaggerating, and unfortunately, it was. That basically started uh, the next six months of horrific torture. Damn. Wow. Can we cut for a second? Can we cut for a second? It's hard. Now I get the title. Yeah. I don't mean it sound like it. Yeah, but I get the title. I do yeah, get the title here. now. 
Damn that. Yeah. I didn't know that. It's like he went through a lot of shit, pretty much. Like, yeah. like that's that. That was the beginning. In a weird way, that was the beginning of him being known. Yeah, in a way, yeah, that's what it is. And then from there on in, we'll we'll have to check out the documentary because we don't know the entire Kane Hodder story. Yeah. But like I said, like I said, it wasn't just Jason too. When I was looking through IMDb, it was like he's done a shit ton of movies. Yeah, and that's why he said pretty much, "I am the only person that's killed the most people on film more than anybody in hit in the film history." Yeah. In the film industry, pretty much. Yeah, easily. An, act, an actor who can clearly say he's a badass. Yeah, he is. And that, and like you said, uh, that's why I like how Bruce Campbell described it, which is true. You got those good, you know, the guys who play the heroes are dicks in real life, but then the ones who play the villains are the nicest fucking people in the world. You know, and it's like, it's true. Kevin, o- Kevin Owens is a great example of that. Exactly. He's a dick on TV, but he's the most awesome dude you can meet in yeah, person. Yeah, he's the most nicest, awesome dude you can meet in person. So, it, you know, and... It's very interesting. I definitely want to mind checking this out. I'll probably need to send this to my friend because he's a huge fan, uh, fan pretty much of. Uh, uh, mainly, he's more. He loves these type of horror films. I think it, for his, on his list, it's usually um, Michael Myers and then it's uh, Jason, pretty much if, uh, from his list uh, for like uh, for horror uh, horror films, pretty much uh, a lot of these characters and those are his like top two, I could say. Yeah. Um, so I definitely want to mind passing this along to show him so you can see. Yeah, um, he. Yeah, this is. I would. I would recommend checking this out. I mean, a lot of people love horror movies nowadays, but they don't get to see the passion some people have back yeah. then, or what the actors ha- have had to go through. Yeah. pretty much. And you can see that the people they talk with, it's like they, you know, the people who are in that genre as well. It's like, you know, they know each other. It's a community. They know each one another. So it's like they know of his story. They know of all of each other's stories and what they yeah. had to go through, wherever they had to get to. So it's very cool. I mean, we might see who else they interviewed, or you know, more of, of his story. So I definitely can't wait to watch this. I yeah, really, I'm super actually, stoked. yeah, it comes out on blue, on VOD and Blu-ray on the second Friday the Thirteenth of the year, which is July Thirteenth. Yes. So I would re- I would highly recommend this. Definitely ch- check it out. No, oh, yes. Because I definitely will be. So other than that. If you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to just fucking up in the first half of this tra- yeah. this trailer reaction, not realizing that he didn't do Jason until part 7 on yeah. record. Yeah, correction, uh, sorry. Yeah, that's our bad. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon or answer. Uh, just let us know pretty much you guys thought. I mean, yeah, the trailer, but... You know, any, you know, favorite films that you know, if you know, you know, know this actor, any favorite films or, you know, favorite, what's your favorite, um, uh, Jason film that he, you know, he was in, uh, definitely put down what you, you know, w- w- any favorite moments, um, any good memories of him or any good, interesting stories, you know, that are very, that we may not know of that, he, you know, they may possibly bring up here. Uh, definitely comment down below, put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Creston. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Jason, no, this has been a very Keen Hotter filled yes. episode of SRB. See ya later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.